Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And this puzzle just has me gobsmacked. This is wizardry indeed, if this works. And I presume it does. This is called The Wizard's Cage by Orvos. And the rules are so simple and minimal. I cannot believe this solves, but that's what I'm going to take on. I love it. I mean, I love the idea. If this works, hats, wizard's hats off to all of us. Um, anyway, let's just check in with the normal stuff. We can got a few days left to enter the uh, Joseph Namer Equal Sum Lines Pack competition on Patreon. Do check that out. At some point in the next week, we'll be uploading uh, the cryptic crossword that I do each month to Patreon as well. Now, we've also got um, our app is out, our Domino app, and it's I think it's on Android now as well. So that is good news. On Android and App Store, you can track down CTC's Domino Sudoku. Uh, you'll get seven free puzzles just for downloading the app at all, for nothing. Then if you want the Domino pack, and you will, that's another something under five dollars or the equivalent in your currency so do check it out um that is on those locations and will soon be on steam as well for people who want to play it on pc and of course there's all our regular merchandise and other apps and sven sudoku pet on the links under the video in the description field but the first link is to this incredible looking puzzle maybe you know it's one of those i if I'd opened it online, uh, sort of while we were filming and then read the rules, I'd have just gone, no, it's madness. So that's because the rules are these. <laughs> Normal Sudoku rules apply. Neighbouring digits along the green line must differ by at least five. So those two digits have to be, they could be one and six, but they couldn't be one and five because they wouldn't differ by five. You know, they need a difference of at least five. So that's standard German whispers rule, but that's not much German whispers in the puzzle. Digits in a cage must sum to the cage total. Now you'll notice there aren't any. Cage totals must be deduced by the solver. Each cage total through, throughout the puzzle is unique and orthogonally adjacent cages have consecutive cage totals. So if the total of this is 12, the total of this one could be 13. I mean, that is the most minimal rules I can imagine. I know we have done a puzzle before. I should be able to remember who it's by where this consecutive cage totals thing applied. But all the cages were consecutive in that. It was a brilliant one. I think it may have gone into our Sudoku book or something. And it sort of had a diagonal of cages going up to a corner and back down. It was fantastic. And I'm, I'm sorry to the constructor that I've forgotten who you were. It was brilliant. But this may be even more amazing because look, consecutive I mean, adjacent cages, there are barely any. Well, I mean, they're in little pairs, but what good is that going to be? There's that string of four cages. <laughs> they could be anything. I, I mean, it's baffling. How can this be a puzzle? I don't get how this can have a single solution. Anyway, give it a try if you fancy it. I mean, have a look at the video length. Maybe it's not the hour and a half I sort of expect, but... I have no idea how this solves and I'm looking forward to finding out. Give it a try if you can. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, I mean, okay. The first thing I was thinking was if those are one cell cage values, obviously they're, they're no more than nine. Now that doesn't necessarily help decide what these are. This could be anything between three and 10 as a result. And it, they don't even have to keep ascending. That value could be the same as that one. It's bonkers, but this is useless. I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going on there? We could have any two cage values. The one thing I have seen that I think is going to matter, and maybe, maybe mentioning that other puzzle helps with this, is I suspect when we count the number of two cell cages, we will find a significant figure. So there's two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, poor little one on its own in box eight, 
15 cages, yes, that is significant because the cage totals all have to be different and there are only 15 different totals you can make up in two cell cages. The minimum is a 1 and 2, gives you 3. The maximum is a 9 and 8, which gives you 17. Um, there is no actual rule given in this puzzle that digits have to be different in a cage, but any 2 by 1 rectangle to a base at Oku rules has to have different digits. So I think, well, I'm certain that all of these cages are, all of these two cell cages are valued between 3 and 17. Oh, of course. Oh, I hadn't thought of this. These then won't, this one won't have the same value as that because it's not allowed to. That was daft of me to suggest that it could, but the rule says it won't. So in fact, these must be 1 and 2. They can't be any other value because it would repeat somewhere in the puzzle. So that can't be 1 or it would attach to a 2. So we can fill in 1 and 2. OK, well, that's a start. And this is a 3 cage, so we can put in 1 and 2. And this is a 4 cage, so it's a 1-3 pair. Bazoom. Well, we've got something done. And all the other cages are valued between 5 and 17. And they're all in pairs apart from this crazy one. So I... Sp okay, so this one, we've, we've got the, num the cage totals from 5 to 17 to go. This one... This is a useless bit of information. We'll have an odd cage total because the cage totals for all the pairs will be one odd and one even. That's how consecutive numbers work in terms of parity. And we have, well, we have an extra odd one to do if we're going to do 5 to 17. I was going to say how many it was, but I'm um, fighting shy of claiming I know what number to Right, we have six even cages to put fill in and seven odds. And these are all going to be pairs apart from this, which is going to be the spare odd. That's the point. It doesn't have to be 17. It doesn't have to be five. It could be seven if there was five, six there and seven here. So we're going to have to think of something relevant. Oh, there's a one in one of these two cells. That's interesting by Sudoku. And there's a one in one of those three which is less interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think it's time to do Sudoku yet. I think we have to look at this rule a lot more. I don't think it's time to do German Whispers either. Mm, although if that was a low digit, it's now a four. It sees two, one and three. That's quite interesting. 4, 9 would have to be, that would have to be a 3. And if this was adding up to 13, this could not then add up to 12. So that's not a low digit. Okay, German whispers may be coming in. Those are high and those are low. Now, it doesn't mean that that's a 1, unfortunately. Oh, the low digit here is 3 or 4, because it can't be 1 or 2. Um, then the high digit, because of the German whisper rule, must be 8 or 9. So this cage adds up to 11 or 12 or 13. So I suppose the 1 could be here if this was 1, 9. This would be 3, 8. That's the only way the 1 could be in this cell, I think. But I think there are other possibilities, so I don't think I'm going to carry on with that. Ah, yes, look, one, two, three and four, they're a very tight-knit pair. They share a digit. Three and four have to share a digit. And this is the sort of shape that can share a digit, whereas this shape of two by two in the same box this pair in the same box, this pair, and this pair can't share a digit. Right, so now I'm thinking about 17 and 16. Now, if they are a pair in the puzzle, 
if 17 is paired with 16, is not a single cage on its own, I think they have to be up here. Because the 17 would be 9, 8, and the 16 would be 9, 7. There'd be a repeated 9, and you can't do that there, or there, or there, or there, by Sudoku rules. So, unless this is 17 here, being a 9, 8, then these are 17 and 16. Now, if that was a 17, what are the... the ah, ah, the, then the position is relevant. Right, if that was a 17, where would you put 16 and 15, which add up to 31, which is more than the total of four totally separate Sudoku digits? Now, what I'm saying is that these cages, I'm going to colour them yellow. These are the cages where you can't have any repeat digits. The, the pairs of cages where you can't have any repeat digits. I mean, I could colour that one yellow as well. Why not? Um, and there you cannot have... We, we've established you can't have 17 and 16 in those cages. So 17 is either there or in one of these. Now, if 17 is here... Where does 16 and 15 go? Because I'm going to allege they have to have a repeat digit. Because 16 and 15 add up to 31. In four cells, they can't be four separate digits, because the most that four separate digits can add up to is 30. Therefore, this is the pair with a repeat digit. And I don't know whether it's 16 and 17 or 16 and 15 but I think it must be one of them. Yes, that yes, that's interesting. 17 can either be in this pair with a 16 or here. If it's here, this has to be 16 and 15 with a repeat digit. It might be a nine or it might be an eight, I think. But it must be something. Now that means, I was going to get a bit carried away and go, this is now 17, 16 and 15. That's only true if this is 17. If this is 17 and 16, I don't think this has to be 15. Oh, gosh. But, oh, hang on. No, no, no. This won't work. Look, if you do put 17 in here... That's a 9-8 pair. How can this be 16 and 15 when this one, its two highest digits, can only be 7 and 6? This can only add up to 13 if you were to put 9-8 down here. So that's not right. So this is not the 17. This is 17 and 16, which add up... Well, it doesn't matter what they add up to. They've got two 9s in. 17 has got a 9, 8. 16 has got a 9, 7. So there's a repeat 9, and one of them is here, and the other one is in one of these cells. And this is either 7 or 8, and this is either 9, 7 or 9, 8, and we've got a triple in the row. And we've done 17 and 16. So actually, let's just recolor the... Not blue... Um, purple, the things we've done. So we've done the bottom two numbers, 3 and 4. We've done the top two numbers, 16 and 15. Now, I don't think... Sorry, not 16 and 15. 17 and 16 we've done here. Now, this can't be 15, because it would either be 9, 6, and that's ruled out by that, or... 7, 8 as a pair, and that's, that would break this cell. If that was 7, 8, you couldn't fill anything in there. Right, so this is not 15. Therefore, one of these yellow pairs involves 15 and obviously 14. 15 and 14 add up to 25. They're made up of the digits 9, 8, 7, 5. That, sorry, 15 and 14 add up to 29, which are made up of the digits 9, 8, 7, 5. It's the only way to make 29. So if you've got 9, 8, 7, and 5, the 14 is 9, 5, and the 15 is 7, 8. So there is a 7, 8 cage, and there is a 9, 5 cage. And that obviously can't be here, because 9 has been ruled out of those cells. There's a 9 in one of those three cells. 
So that's not where 15 and 14 go. I think it could easily be here. It can't be here because you wouldn't have low digits, by which I mean under five. Um, it could be here. I suppose it could be here, and it could even be here. So, so there is a nine, five, and an eight, seven pair somewhere. Now, I'm sure this can be 13. It could be eight, five, or six, seven. At the other end of the spectrum, it could be five if it was two, three. Ah, okay, let's think about five, six as a pair. Now, if this isn't five, then somewhere we've got a five, six pair. Five and six add up to 11. That in four digits is one, two, three, five. It's the only way you can do it, in which case the five is a two, three pair and the six is a one, five pair. Now, you can't put one, two, three, five here because of the one. You can't put one, two, three, five here because of the one, two. You can't put one, two, three, five here because one of one, two or three would have to go in box five and we've already got them. Can you put one, two, three, five here? No, because that two, one would force the two, one down here, but that only adds up to three. That's not what we need. Right. You, can, you can't put them here either because there's no high digits. Um, so there is no such thing as a one, two, three, five yellow area. And therefore, five is out on its own and it is down here. That's a two, three pair. That's so clever. This is so brilliant. I am blown away by this. So we've got the five pair, that can go purple. And that gives us one and three there. Now, the other pairs are going to be six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 15. Now that's still five pairs that we can't identify at all, but it's always a lower even number and a slightly higher odd number that we are combining together. And that might help somehow. Now we know that the 1415 is a 95 and an 87 that can't be here. That's all we know. Let's concentrate on the low numbers because we've got quite a few low numbers down here. So the next one up after five is six and seven. Oh, they can't be here. Right, what are the combinations of six and seven? I'm just going to use this green area as an aid memoir. So six could be one, five, or two, four. The seven that that would go with would have to be three, four in case of one, five, or one, six. So we're either using somewhere in the yellows, it's not going to be here because there aren't enough high digits. Somewhere in the yellows, we're going to use either a one five, well, a one five three four quadruple or a two four one six quadruple. Can't be here because both one and two are unavailable. Can't even be here because these pairs always use one. So we're down to this one or this one. Right. Can this? No. Two, the, the minimum for this cage is nine, four and five because of those. So right, this, well, these are a six and a seven. Ah, and two and one are looking at those cells. That has to be a three, four pair. So it's this pair, three, four, one, five. Let's get rid of everything there. And the one, five goes in down here. And we've done another pair. Let's color them purple. We've done the six, seven pair. I can write in the one and five based on this one. And now let's think about an eight, nine pair. Well, it's not going to make it here because this is 11, 12 or 13. Now, maybe it could be here. Nine could be a four, five. And then eight could either be two, six or one, seven there. Now, can it be here? I think not. Eight, nine. Well, the eight, given that one and two are there, the eight would have to be a three, five pair. 
and then the 9 couldn't use 1, 2, 3 or 5. There's no way to do that. So 8, 9 is not there. It's not here because that doesn't add up to the right number. So it's either here or up here. Now is this possible? Ah, 1, 2 there. And, oh, well, there's no 1 in it. So if that was the 8, it could be a 3-5 pair. Then this would be the 9, not using 1, 3, or 5. So the odd digit would be a 7. So that would be a 2-7 pair. I don't know, that does look possible. There might, yes, and this could be the 9. So that could even be 2, 6. Uh, there are possibilities. Bother. So my uh, luck at finding the way forward ran out a bit. So I don't know whether this is the 8, 9 pair or this. It's one of them. Now, can I do this yet? Maybe I can use the fact that if this is 12, that's 13 because we're using a lower even and a higher odd number. Oh, but there are two ways for this to be 12. Right, there's only one way for it to be 11, and there's only one way for it to be, I don't know, this is a messy way of looking at it. I don't want to do that. Is there Sudoku I can do now? It doesn't feel like there's enough. Maybe let's keep thinking about whether this can be the 8-9 pair. That could be 3-6 or 4-5 to be 9. If it was 3... Oh, 3-6 wouldn't work. That wouldn't allow an 8 pair here, because it couldn't be 1-7-3-5 or 2-6. So if this is a 9 pair, it's 4, 5. So it's either, if this is the 8, 9 area, this is either 3, 5 or 4, 5. That's interesting. If it's 3, 5, this is 2, 7. If it's 4, 5, this adds up to 8 and is 2, 6. So if this is the 8-9 pair, there's always a 3 here and there's always a 2 here. Now if there's a 3 here, this is 4-9 and that's 13. And this has to add up to 12. Oh, but it can't use a 4 or a 9. So it can't be 4-8 or 9-3. This would have to be 5-7 and that's, that breaks German whisper rules for them to be connected. For 5 to even be on the line. So, there is not a 3 up here, and this is not the 8-9 pair. The 8-9 pair's here. Oh, that's a little bit tricky, that, but it works. I'm sure for this to be 8-9, it has to have a 3 in it. Otherwise, it would be 4-5. Oh, have I actually ruled that out? If that was 4-5, this could be 2-6. Ah, I have not ruled that out. I said there had to be a 3 here, but hang on, I've got it wrong. Right, there could be 4, 5 here with 3, 6 here. So if that was 4, 5, oh, this is all different. This would be 3 and either 8 or 9. Oh, fish hooks. But it was interesting, actually. OK, let's think about the, the German whisper stuff. It was interesting that 3, 9 here. No, what was I looking at? 4, 8 here, wasn't I? No, I was. No, if that's a 4, that has to be a 9. They have to add up to 13. And then this can't be a pair that adds up to 12 because they can't use 4, 9 and they can't be a 5, 7 pair. Yes, so that cannot be a 4 under any circumstances. That's a 3. That rather boosts the case for 4 or 5 here. Anyway, 
this is either 11 and this has to add up to 10 then. Now that could be 3, 8, 1, 9 it would have to be and that's possible. Or it's 12 in which case this is 13 but that would have to be 4, 9 to keep the digits 5 apart and that would require a 9 to be both here and here. So that's not 12, that's 11, that 8 is done and this is 1, 9 this pair that adds up to 10 can't be 2, 8 because of that, or 3, 7 because of that, and 4, 6 are too close. Actually, so are 3, 7. That is 1, 9. We're done. Um, well, no, we're not. We're, we're done with that. With that German whisper cage. Let's turn it purple. Although it's kind of interrupted the sequence. I had a nice sequence of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then at the top end, I've got 16 and 17 up here in some order. But now I've suddenly picked out 10 and 11, thanks to the whisper. Okay, has this, this might have affected 8, 9, which can still be here if it was 4, 5, and either 2, 6, or 1, 7. Can it be here? This would now be 4, 5. And this would be 2, 6, and that works fine. Oh, that's so irritating. So 8, 9 is either there or there. We've also now got, we've done 10, 11. We've got 12, 13, and 14, 15 to go. We know 1415 isn't up here because it has a 9 in it. Has something got going here? Um, I don't know. Oh, look, 1, 1, and 1. There's a 1 in this cage. Well, that's interesting. If this wasn't the 8-9 pair, it would it can't be 10-11, we've done that. It would have to be 12-13 or 14-15. None, none of those have a 1 in a 2-cell cage, so this is the 8-9 pair. That needs a 4-5 here, and if there's a 1 in this cage, it's the 8 cage, it's 1-7. Aha! Wow, that's fabulous again. That's so clever. And now we've stopped up our sequence. We're up to, we've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got a 12, 13 and a 14, 15. The 14, 15 has a 9 in it and it's not up here because there's a 9 there and a 9 there. So the 14, 15 is down here, 9, 5 and 7, 8. And that can't be a 9, so that can't be a 5. This can't be a 5, so that can't be a 9. Nine, five, seven, eight. So that is a naked six because it sees three, four, and two, one in the row. And nine, five, seven, eight in the box. That's a three, four pair that I can fill in. This, I'm going to color it purple. I, I don't know the order yet, but I know that it's the 14, 15 pair. And this is the 12, 13 pair, this last yellow one. Right, what can we put in here? That adds up to 12 or 13. Well, I can see 5, 7 would be 12. And 6, 7 would be 13. So there's a 7 in it, and that goes here because of the 7, 8, 9 triple. And that's 5 or 6. This is 12 or 13. Now here, we also have 12 or 13. If it's 12, it can't be 9, 3 or 7, 5. If it's 12, it's 8, Four. And if it's 13, it can't be 7, 6 or 9, 4. Then it's 5, 8. And the 8 is always here. So that is either... Oh, well, they can't both be 5s to make 13 and 12. So they're 4 and 6. And we are done in those all the cages. And the rest is going to... We've done the German Whisper. The rest is going to have to be classic Sudoku. Well, we've still got this to figure out. Ah, oh, that can't be an 8, so that can't be a 7. This is absolutely brilliant. I am literally on the 
floor in admiration here. Not literally. I'm sitting on a chair in admiration, literally. Um, right, two, five, and three. Now, this is just Sudoku. I like it when it gets to just Sudoku because I'm not Simon. Four, seven there because four and seven are in those, so they can't be here. We can fill in two and six. Now, seven has come out of that, so that is a five, nine pair. And then we can fill in eight, seven. And we've, well, we've got a lot of these cages done. I may not have s sorted out Oh, actually, we don't quite know which of these is 16 and which 17, but it doesn't really matter. Um, let's just keep going with good old Sudoku. A 2 3 pair there, a 5 there. Um, this row needs an 8 and a 9. Ah, oh, there must be a 7 in those cells, so that fixes the 4 7 pair. So this is a 4 6 8 triple, that fixes the 9 and the 8. This is six seven nine as a triple, so that's not nine. This is two three five, so that one's not five. We need seven eight and nine here. This can't be a nine, so now we've got a seven eight pair in the column, and that makes this a six. Uh, it makes this four or five, which can't be five. Bingo. Um, Oh yes, this is just working now. I like it when it just comes together. Now we've got two, three, and five to go in the top row, but each of them can't be one of those digits. Ah, oh, that's a two, three pair in column nine. That's very helpful. That gives us a four in this seven cage. That can't be four. That can't be three. Uh, six, seven, and eight. That is a naked six because it sees that two, three pair. It also sees one, four, five, nine in its column, eight, seven in the row. That makes this an eight. That places seven here. That means this is a nine, eight pair, the 17 cage we have identified finally. And this seven is in the 16 cage, gives us an eight at the bottom of the column because for once I'm not a stormtrooper. Eight, nine, six, seven. This is a four, five pair. These are from one, two, three, making a triple in the row, making these a six, eight pair that I can fill in. Seven, nine, four. In fact, this is now a three, five pair that I can fill in thanks to this four, five pair looking at them. And I can put in two and one. And box two is done. Box one is done. Box four and seven. There's a seven, nine pair looking down the column, six and five at the bottom, two, one. That's a naked nine. It sees all the other digits and that's going to fix these first six columns entirely. And it's just going to finish now. And I love it. Two and six there. So how are we disambiguating these columns? Uh, that can't be a three. So we've got to use this nine and three that we've got in these columns. Oh no, look, I can do that three. That makes this a two. That gives five and three. Right. Let's use this nine and five. Let's use the five first. Five gives four. Four gives six. Six gives two. This is lovely. Two gives one. One gives seven. And this puzzle, I mean, you had to get your head around it, but it turned out not to be all that monstrous in the end. That's half an hour. I thought, I said, I think, that I thought it was going to be an hour and a half. That is a fantastic achievement. I mean, well done, Orvos. That really is fantastic. Wizardry indeed. I love that. That's so clever. One given digit and just a scattering of cages around the grid and the magic makes it work. Truly magical. Thank you so much for watching. I've, I think I've probably given you the impression that I was impressed by this Sudoku and I really was. It was superb. Hope to see you again for some more tomorrow. Thank you as always for watching the channel and goodbye for now.